Just a few days ago, we uh, attended a Friends of the NRA banquet and fundraiser, and uh, I was lucky enough to win a new uh, Taurus revolver. This is a model 905 stainless steel two inch barrel revolver in in uh, nine millimeter Luger, nine millimeter Parabellum. And this is the lucky ticket that won that. So uh, just today, I went over to the uh, sports shop that was handling all the uh, federal firearms license, FFL stuff for the friends of the NRA. Filled up my paperwork, bought a few extra things at the sports shop that I needed, uh, and came home with this uh, brand new revolver. So I'm usually not a very lucky person, uh, but this time I guess I got a little bit lucky. Uh, MSRP on this thing is 500 and a quarter, something around that range. I'm sure it doesn't really retail for that much, but, but uh, it's kind of neat. Uh, kind of a neat gun. Let's go ahead. This is the official unboxing of this thing. Um, here we have a Taurus lifetime repair policy, uh, the revolver instruction manual. I, of course, did open this thing up uh, earlier and went through it. I'll tell you one thing that's very good about these instruction manuals. Uh, I've been around firearms for uh, numerous decades and uh, it's very easy for someone who's uh, uh, well acquainted with firearms to say, okay, there's that, but don't do that. Uh, I think it's great to actually read, especially reread the, the safety stuff. Nothing wrong with that and uh, just making all the safety as absolutely drilled into your mind as possible that's great. Make it absolutely second nature with whatever we do with these guns and there's certainly nothing wrong with it. And read it because, you know, every gun's got a little nuance about how this functions and what this is supposed to do and so on and so forth. Read the manufacturer's recommendations. Uh, I was reading about this one in particular and it, uh, it can fire the 9mm plus P uh, ammunition as long as it says that it's uh, um, compliant with SAMI, S-A-A-M-I as long as it says that on the box. So that's super if I wanted to. I've never fired uh, the plus P stuff in any of my nine millimeter uh, pistols and I, I won't fire it in this one either. But it, it can do it if you're looking at getting this sort of gun. Um, and uh, this also has a um, uh, locking security system on it. It's kind of interesting. It actually locks the, uh, the hammer in place. So that's nice to know. Now, when I first won this, I'm actually first putting my tickets in for it. I said, oh, that's interesting. It's a 9mm revolver. So, uh, let's take a look at this thing. So, it's a 9mm revolver. There we go. It is unloaded. Um, and uh, what's kind of interesting about it, of course, is the fact that it's a revolver. And I was wondering, now, if you know the 9mm cartridge, 9mm Luger, um, it is essentially a rimless, it's a rimless cartridge designed for semi-automatic pistols like the Luger a long, long time ago. Um, and so if I dropped one of these in, one of those cases in here right now, uh, it would want to go quite a ways into this into the chamber of this uh, cylinder, potentially all the way through, I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll experiment with that here in just a little bit, see what it does. But what this was designed to do uh, is they have these, these clips these little star clips, as they look like, or um, and so what you do is you preload these. It comes with four or five. It comes with four of these star clips. Uh, you preload them uh, with those uh, the cases and take the whole case like a speed loader, drop it in there, um, and of course it stays in. And then you go ahead and uh, fire at your target. And then when you uh, uh, empty it all out, the speed clip will. Uh, still be holding on to those then spent cases and the whole thing comes out. So that is kind of interesting. Uh, right back here is that uh, security system that I talked about a little bit ago. I'll show you a close-up of it. Now this is a two-inch barrel. It's all stainless steel. It has a rubberized grip. This is a Taurus rubberized grip. It looks sort of like the the hoax and based on how it, how it, how it feels when I'm shooting this thing I might actually pull these off and put a Hogue uh, rubberized grip or something like that on it. Um, and it does not have any sort of adjustable rear sights. It's not really intended for that. I think I would say this is probably intended for, for carry, everyday carry type of thing, home defense. We're talking about rear, very close range shooting. Um, man, it's going to be kind of uh, um, 
uh, just instinctive shooting on this sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's kind of an interesting little uh, revolver. If we, uh, of course, it's double action, so I can fire it in this mode, the single action mode, and I'm gonna get a feel here for the trigger. Uh, it's actually not bad. One thing I'm noticing right away, well, that's not bad. One thing I'm noticing is that that hammer is quite heavy uh, to pull that back. But the, uh, the trigger uh, in that single action mode is, is quite nice. I don't think it's very bad. We'll see on the range. Uh, and of course, it also can fire in double action mode. And I'm holding my hand on this hammer. I don't want it falling forward on its own uh, on empty chamber. And of course, inside home, you don't want this shooting uh, at all. So. Kind of a cool little gun. We'll give her a try at the range. I'm gonna get this thing all cleaned up and uh, then we're gonna head out to the range and see how it does. So as you can see here, this is a five round chamber. And if I take one of these uh, nine millimeter rounds, I can drop it in here, all right? That's not a problem. But if I fire this thing, um, look, there's no way to eject it because it's that rimless uh, rimless case. So the solution then is this little star can hold five, drops in, all right, just like that, drops right in, and then when I'm ready to eject it, just drop that plunger right there and everything comes out including, including that star. So this here is that uh, Taurus security system, and this uh, revolver comes with a couple of keys. That's the spare, I guess. You insert this. Now what you do then, according to the manual, is you use one of these keys and uh, insert that into this place right here. Um, turn it in one direction to lock it. Turn it in the opposite direction to uh, unlock this uh, this hammer. All right. Well, let's get through the cleaning of it. I don't know. If a lot of folks know that it's pretty important to uh, clean any brand new firearm when you first receive it before you shoot it. They used to pack them, as they call it, pack them in cosmoline. Well, they're not using cosmoline anymore, but they are still using far more of a preservative oil and grease uh, to to you know, keep these guns um, rust-free and tarnish-free while they might be sitting on the shelf or in a warehouse or something like that. So it is important to get these things clean. Now, stainless steel cannot rust, but stainless steel effectively can tarnish. You can have some corrosion or whatever you want to call it on, uh, on stainless steel. So, uh, so it's good to just clean these things up. I can see quite a bit of you know, oil and grease and different things on this. Go ahead and get her all cleaned up. This little two-inch barrel won't take very much time to get it cleaned up, that's for sure. We'll get her all clean here. Every little nook and cranny. We're getting there. I'm going to use a 9mm brush on this. Run it through a few times. And go back to another patch with some more solvent down the bore. Now that I might have loosened up some more stuff by running that brush through it. This uh, revolver is kind of neat too. It actually has an NRA serial number. It was uh, a limited edition run production by, by Taurus, specifically for NRA, for the Friends of the NRA Banquets. If you haven't gone to these things, boy, I encourage you to do that. Friends of the NRA is a nonprofit part of the National Rifle Association. All the funds raised in their fundraisers go to uh, shooting events around the state where you live 
uh, and that helps uh, collegiate shooting teams, it helps gun ranges make improvements, um, it helps uh, shooting events and classes and certified instructors and, and you name it. So it's all those sorts of things. It's not political, it's not the political part of the National Rifle Association, but I'll tell you what, I encourage you to support that as well, the NRA ILA, Institute for Legislative Action. Become an NRA member if you're not already. I don't know how in the world people can imagine we're going to maintain any of our rights under the Bill of Rights if uh, if we don't have organizations like the NRA uh, and others that uh, kind of the watchdog groups that are uh, watching out for our rights. So back to this thing. It looks like I'm in pretty good shape. I don't really like how that is looking right now. The cylinder face. Let me get that cleaned up a little bit better. I'll wipe her all down. I'll put a thin coat. I use the silicon. I use the silicon rags, silicone impregnated rags to do that. Um, you don't want to put a bunch of oil on these guns. Just a nice light film is all it's going to take. So I'm almost there. I'm a Wipe it down as I said, put a little bit of oil probably right inside right inside here. I'll put a little bit. See how we're doing. I might put a drop here so that functions very good there. So on and so forth. I'll finish this up. Next step, head out to the shooting range. Up and let's see how we did. I see one dead bull. That's good. Then I pulled him over here, then I pulled him up there. So that's probably me. We're back in from the range and as you saw the gun functioned flawlessly, which is what we would expect from a revolver. Um, overall the grade I would give this thing is an A. Uh, as I said it functioned flawlessly um, and uh, I have no complaints with it. Uh, a couple of comments I'll make about it. Number one is these grips do feel kind of small uh, in my hand. Uh, these couple of fingers here will fit on the uh, the grip itself and this one's kind of hanging loose out there but what I was doing is using my second hand to give myself a little bit more um, bracing uh, or uh, or control of the uh, of the revolver the uh, it was very windy out there so I couldn't do any commentary when I was out but uh, 
firing it in double action. This, uh, this trigger is, is quite heavy for the first part of its travel, and then it almost seems to really lighten up at the end uh, and, uh, and release, this, uh, release this hammer. Um, maybe that's a little bit more so with this one than other revolvers that I fired in, uh, uh, in double action mode. I'll say one thing, that uh, while they weren't on screen, my, my son and wife were out there with me running the cameras and shooting. In fact, they got first shots with this, uh, with this gun. But uh, um, if the ladies are thinking about getting this sort of thing, or your wife is thinking about getting a, a, a revolver like this, my wife actually shot really, really well with this thing. She shot uh, one of her rounds was outside the, the, uh, the rings. All the rest of them were not only inside the target rings, but on the black. So uh, first, time, first time she shot it, she fired it all in single action. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, she shot it well, and she actually thought it was kind of fun to shoot this. So that's kind of a, something worth noting. Um, the sights weren't bad, even though there's no rear adjustment on these sights. Uh, it worked out just fine. And when I did the rapid fire, oh, that was kind of fun. I don't think I hit very well uh, on the target. We had quite a few uh, shots already on target at that point, but, uh, but uh, it did pretty nice. And as you saw in the video, even firing at rapid fire, there wasn't very much recoil uh, coming up so you could get back on target fairly quickly. It's going to be slower with a revolver than a semi-automatic pistol, but, uh, but nonetheless, it worked. It worked nice. I will give it an A. It's a nice gun.